Christian Karasovitz here. I uh, wanted to um, take a minute and share with you um, an interesting little uh, little tip that I came across. Um, and it talks about, well, you know, how do you get things done in 20 minutes? And you're probably all wondering, well, when am I going to find 20 minutes throughout my day, right? Well, if we stop to think about it, we have 20 minutes at numerous points throughout our day. We just choose to do other things, um, things that uh, take us away from getting the things that we need to get done um, completed. And so this little tip is actually really simple. Um, you basically need four things. So the first thing you need are some things to do. We've all got plenty of those. You know, it could be things to do, it could be ideas, things you wanna learn, that kind of stuff, right? The second thing you need, a piece of paper. In this case, I've got a, a pile of sticky notes here. Um, you know, you can, it's just for jotting down your notes and your ideas and what you need to do, right? Third thing, really simple, a pen. And the fourth thing, we need a clock. Uh, a clock can be the form of, a, you know, a smartphone, um, a watch, a computer, you know, what have you, right? And the whole point is what you want to do uh, is you want to jot down on your list, on this list that you've got here, right? The things that you need to get done. And I'm talking things like I need to build a website. Um, I want to, you know, set up a meeting with so and so. I need to um, create a business proposal. I want to go work out, for instance. Um, these are little things you can get done in 20 minutes. You know, um, you, you know, I need to write five blog posts, for instance, or blog post on such and such topic. Um, things that I would probably omit from this list are um, go check my Facebook status, go check my Twitter status, uh, go, go see who has mentioned me on Twitter, for instance. And um, the reason I suggest remove, you know, removing these kinds of things from your list, uh, they're not result producing activities. Um, they're things that are going to hinder you from getting things done. And, um, you know, this may be difficult for you at first. Um, if you've never done any of this sort of thing, or you've always just kind of like, you know, just made that big long list and never gone back to it, you know, just keep adding, adding, adding. And what you want to do with this is you want to write down all the things you need to get done for that day. And then you want to set your timer for 20 minutes. Okay. And what you're going to do is at the end of 20 minutes, we're going to jot down on our list and we're going to uh, cross off all the things that we've done in that, in those 20 minutes. And mind you, Sure, it may take 40 minutes or even 60 minutes to write a blog post. However, um, if you at least get started with it in the first 20 minutes, you know that that item stays on your list until you get it done. And you know, not only um, will it be beneficial by uh, you know getting things done on this list, but the great thing is that um, you know it's a great sense of accomplishment. I mean, think about this: you have five, ten things you want to get done on that list, and at the end of the day. You've got every single thing crossed off on that list. I mean, there's nothing greater than that. And uh, the more you do this, the more you create a list and the more you follow this list um, and you cross things off of it and you, you keep you know, sticking to this list, right? Uh, the better you're gonna be at uh, getting things done and the faster you're gonna get at completing projects. So for example, it may have taken 40 minutes to write the first blog post and the next time it took 30 minutes and then 20 minutes and then 10 minutes. Uh, but the great thing is you've got a sense of accomplishment. You know, it helps uh, eliminate a lot of the distractions around you. So for instance, every time I go to check my Facebook status and if I was in the middle of updating a blog post, it takes me away from getting that blog post completed. And you know, it's going to take me longer to get those result producing activities done and you're not going to grow as fast as you want to. So there's my tip for today. Uh, 20 minute increments. Uh, if you want to use 30 minute increments, you know, try it. Uh, 20 minutes is pretty is pretty generous. Um, again, you'll find lots of pockets of time throughout your day to where you can uh, pull 20 minutes here, or 20 minutes there, um, get things done, and do me a favor, uh, become a fan of my Facebook page, uh, leave me a comment on there if you like, uh, you know, tell me how what kind of success you're seeing uh, when you write things down on a list and you break them down to 20 minute increments. Send me a tweet. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody.